let's use a graph to evaluate each expression. Okay, so when we start with f at negative 1, we are going to go to the x value of negative 1, which puts me right here. And we want to go to the function f of x. So that's our blue line. So I'll go up to the blue line and then make my way back over to the y value so I know what that value is um, when it's evaluated at f of negative 1. The y value is going to be 3. Okay. So let's look at the next one. This is go to the um, x value of 0, so at g of x, so when x is 0, this time we're going to the g function, which is our g of x, is going to be our red, so we, arrow, we go up to the red, and then we would move back over to the y-axis to see what the y value is, but we're on the y-axis, so we just label that value, it goes up to the 6. C, and C, when we look at that, let me erase this other one. We're going to, first of all, break it apart into f of 2 plus the g of 2. Um, for the first one, we're going to go to the x value of 2 and make our way to the f of x function. So go to the x value of 2, which is here. We're going to go up to the f of x function and then arrow back over to say that y value is equals 6. Okay, now we're going to do g, we go to the x value of 2, we go to the g function, which is g of x function, which is the red one, and we find out that that is going to be 2. Now we add those together to get 8. f times g of 0, so if I rewrite this, it's going to be f of 0 times g at 0. So start at the 0, x is 0. Unless we're going for this first one, we're going to the f of x function, which is the blue one. And we're already at our y value, so that's going to be 4. Alright, for this next one, we go to the g is at 0. I mean, we go to the x value of 0, and we're going to go to the g of x function, which is our red. And that value is 6, and then we multiply together, and 6 times 4 is 24. Let's look at um, evaluating each expression using a table. Okay, when x is negative 1, right here, what is the f at negative 1? What's the f of x value when we evaluate it at negative 1? It's going to be 2. B says um, when x, the x value is positive 1, that's right here, go to the g function, our g of x function is evaluated at 1 is going to be 6. For c, we're going to do f of 0 plus g of 0. So first thing we're going to do is go to the x value of 0, which is here, and f of x is 4. Go to the x value of 0 and evaluate that with the g of x function and that's going to be 3 so we would say 7 plus I mean 4 plus 3 is 7 um, our next one is going to be our I'm going to move those out the way f of 2 minus g of 2 so it goes to the x value of 2 which is right here and then we're going to evaluate it at f of x, it's just going to be 8. Go to the x value of 2, evaluate it at the g of x, using the g of x function, you get 9. So that value is going to be negative 1. And one more on this page, f times g of 1, which is going to be the f of 1 times the g of 1. Go to the f function, the f value of x equals 1, and f of x is 6. Multiply that. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. Go to the x value of 1 right here. Evaluate at the g of x function is 6, and then 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, now that we've covered the basic operations of functions, we're going to talk about the composition of functions. And this um, 
little circle right here is not the multiplication symbol. It's a little, almost looks like a degree, but not that high. So it's the g of f of x is equal to the g of f of x. And um, so we look at this, and basically, if I had this diagram to help depict it, if I'm given a value for x, I substitute that value into the f of x equation, and then I would take that solution and substitute it back into the g of x equation, the g of x function, excuse me, and then that basically is what gives us the g of f of x. Okay, so one more time, we're given one, substitute it into the f of x function and evaluate it. We take that, substitute it back into the g of x, and then that essentially takes us from x to the g of f of x to here. And, and this will be a little more obvious as we do a few examples, then we may come back to this and look at it again. Okay, the first thing we want to do is rewrite this as the g, the f of g of x by the definition that was given above. And then this says start with g of x and plug that in. So I bring down f. I'm going to substitute the value for g of x. Well, I know what g of x equals. g of x equals negative 4x plus 9. So I substitute that in. This says go to the f function, and everywhere there is an x, you're going to plug this value in. So if I, my f of x function is up here, Everywhere there is an x, 3x plus 5, because I'm using this function right here. Everywhere there is an x, we're going to substitute this in place of it. So negative 4x plus 9. So I have 3 times negative 4x plus 9 plus 5, and I'm going to evaluate that. Negative 12x plus 27 plus 5, add like terms, and we get negative 12x plus 32. Okay, let's look at the g of f of x. So the first thing I'm going to rewrite this to the g of f of x. I'm going to start by substituting my f of x value in. I'll come clear this up here. My f of x value is 3x plus 5. So I'm going to have g, and then I have 3x plus 5. So basically, go to the g function, and everywhere there's an x, we're going to plug this in place of it. So I have negative 4, parenthesis, x plus 9. That is my g of x function right here. And everywhere there's an x, I'm going to plug this in. So I'm going to plug in 3x plus 5 into the g of x function. Distribute negative 12x minus 20 plus 9, negative 12x minus 11. Okay, C, we're going to do f of g of 2 this time. Now this says go to the d function and plug in a 2. So if I come back up here because I'm using the same function and everywhere x is at, I plug in a 2, then I would get negative 8 plus 9 is going to be positive 1. So I would say g of 2 equals positive 1. Okay, I bring down my f. This is go to the f function. Everywhere there is an x, plug in a 1. Go to my f function. Everywhere there is an x, we're going to plug in a 1, so we get 3 plus 5 is going to be 8. So the f of g of 2 is equal to 8. All right, number um, this one right here, you can see the letters are off. Um, we're going to have the g of f of negative 1, the next problem, so we're going to have g of f of negative 1. To start this, we're going to go to the f function and plug in negative 1 for x. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Bring down our g. Now from here we go to the d function, plug in 2. 
everywhere there's an x we plug in a 2 it's going to be negative 8 plus 9 is going to be positive 1.